A panacea is defined as a cure for all life's ills and ailments. Pretty safe to say if you're at the helm of the Intrepid 51 Panacea, life's going pretty well. I want to take a closer look at the largest from the Intrepid fleet and a couple of my favorite features. There's a lot of versatility in the seating arrangements here. Right now, hull number one has the two rows of four, but we're told this could also have some U-shaped seating. You could have more space for the, for the angler. Now, this is a cool touch. A couple builders have done different types of solutions for different, different height uh, helmsmen. Right here, they, they Intrepid opted to do it electronically. Again, these, these boats are really made to perform. I doubt you have very, you have no issue with bow rise, but again, you know, with, with different different heights, it's uh, it's a nice option. Make our way forward. There's a lot of smartly designed spaces. It wasn't too long ago, spaces like this would go completely unused. Now, right here, you have your storage for trash. You have fender storage in here. Nice large fenders for a boat of this size. This, this platform can raise, so you can raise into the table here. Something I like is, uh, is this seating solution here. At the push of a button, this backrest will come up. You know, a lot of times, some pads are great. You lay it out, taking a quick nap. Not that comfortable if you're trying to sit up and enjoy a conversation. If everyone else is sitting up around you, kind of weird to be that one guy that's laying down all the time. What's most impressive, but I guess not too surprising as we get into the size range, is the cabin here. This raises, you're not having to duck, duck your head all the time. And something with this door that I think is really nice, oftentimes center console doors, once they're open, this becomes completely impassable. But this, this door goes nice, nicely into the, into the console and out of the way. About 6'2 about on, on a good day, and you can really see headroom's impressive. This table will lower, it could be a berth, I actually like that they have the designated spot here for these fill cushions. And also really great height in the head. Part of the thinking behind the Panacea name was that this was going to be a boat that could be used for cruising. I think we saw that in the cabin. It's ready to go to the sandbar, but it's also equipped to fish hard. So it's, it's really aimed at, uh, at having that diversity. A number of power configurations. Obviously right here we have the, uh, the, the four 600s. You also can get that in a triple configuration or you also get that in uh, the Quint V10s. So whatever, whatever your poison. We're told the boat hit uh, 71 miles an hour, fully loaded with 920 gallons of fuel. And with that two of the four engines trimmed up, it still was able to do 40 miles an hour. Pretty incredible. Again, a lot of custom options here. You have this rig to fish, and you have the ver versatility in the, in the cold storage. This one, cold storage and on the cooler garbage, but this could really be customized. Intrepid's known for doing a ton of customization. This was a nice touch as well. Access to the boat systems, a Seakeeper 6, Kohler generator, and just really incredible access to all the systems. Not often the case in a boat of this size and style. One of the most popular boats at the show. It's, it's been crowded so far. We're told that eight have already been sold and the boat just debuted yesterday. It's kind of staggering. 
big things are coming from this builder. You know, Intrepid's been been a force on the scene in recent years, leading to a Marine Max acquisition. But we're told we just learned today that the company is going to be expanding its footprint, adding a second 130,000 square foot facility, so doubling their their production capabilities, and they're going to have the 477, the 51 that we're on, and also a, a future coming 60 that will all be built in a separate facility, bringing the builder's production from somewhere around 110 boats a year, maybe as high as 170 boats a year. So if you're holding some of that intrepid stock, it's a good time maybe to get a few more. But uh, again, lots to like about the new flagship of the Intrepid fleet. Stay tuned for more in an upcoming issue of Power Motor Yacht.